Uh, I was actually uh, enticed to go to PAX by my best, one of my best friends, Corey, who uh, asked me if I wanted to go. And at first I was hesitant, but the more uh, they kind of, ex he and my other friends explained it to me, uh, the more it sounded really cool. And uh, so I gave it a chance and I loved it. I don't even know. I've been coming here for a year. Like, you know, living in Seattle, uh, it's like kind of the only, it's hard, it's hard to justify being a gamer if you're not coming to this, uh, to this thing every year. So I, I didn't come to the first one or two, but I've basically been coming ever since. Yes, it's what, 07, 08, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe go to 13, so the 7th. It's actually my seventh year going to PAX. I believe it's my sixth year. No, I've been at PAX since about uh, aught, aught nine, I believe. It's my first year. So I think it's about five or six years now. That's got to be at least, well, let's say five, six. Five. Five. A bunch of PAXs. Uh, this would be my fourth PAX. Uh, this is my fourth time coming to PAX. I've uh, enforced three, though. So I've been to PAX three times so far. This is my third year at PAX. Second year at PAX. Yeah. This is my second trip to PAX. This is my second PAX. This would be my second year. This would be my second PAX trip ever. This would be my first year attending PAX. This would be my first PAX, actually. First year, fourth day. I love what I do here at PAX, I love gaming, because uh, it gives you a chance to see all sorts of different sides of people. It's like seeing things that you don't normally see on an every day to day basis. It's seeing all the communities, you know, come together and, you know, finally get to meet the gaming community. The gaming community is awesome. You always get to meet all these different new people who know things that you never knew about some games that you played for years and years. I like gaming because it brings people together. It brings a sense of community to a world where we're sad, that's sadly missing. I personally just like being able to talk to people who share my love and interest in gaming between all the many games I play. It's a nice escape, it's a nice hobby, I feel. I mean, people are, I feel as though a lot of people are grounded too much, and it's a, it's a nice way to escape reality and fantasy. I don't know, it's better than real life. <laughs> uh, I like everything about gaming. I, everything from being able to play a game on my own, you know, and, and, and RPG style, or even, you know, being able to get a group of friends together. Um, there's not really many types of games I don't like. Everything gaming offers is just what I like to do. Um, probably helps that I'm decent at it. You know, if I was horrible at it, maybe I would have quit, but you know, I like it, so. I have been doing gaming for a very long time and it's a fantastic hobby. I love PAX because I get to see a lot of people that I normally don't get to see and I get to cosplay. I think one of the things I like most about PAX is the cosplay. I haven't had a chance to put together a costume myself, but I'm kind of, you know, taking, taking notes, yeah. And the cosplay is really cool. So. And who are you cosplaying? Uh, Dr. Thaddeus Venture from the Venture Brothers. And I couldn't tell I'm a traveling salesman for a company very near and dear to my heart called uh, yeah. Classic Concert Free Play, CCFP for short. And I just walk around the entire convention and spread joy and knowledge of the, uh, the, the fun of retro gaming. Now, I love about the, the history of gaming, see? And a lot of these new games have their bells, their whistles, their tops, their bottoms, their junglers, even. But these older retro games have a thing that's not just games. It's, uh, it's, it's history, it's memories, it's nostalgia. That's what, that's what gets me all fired up. I like gaming, I like being transported to strange, unusual worlds. And that made me want to stay in them for a long time. Teleported to an alternate reality. That's all I Gaming is my relaxer. Uh, it's a great way to connect with my friends. It's my way to kind of debrief and get away from the world. Um, I'm a counselor, so it's a great way for me to come home and just kind of uh, forget about all the stuff I've kind of had to hear and, and talk with people about and just to, to kind of lose myself. The uh, problem solving aspect to it, the community aspect to it, being able to figure something out with friends. I love games because it gives you a chance to jump into a world that's not our own and to really relax in the mind. What I like about gaming is generally, uh, if, I like the involvement of story pretty much. I love, I love an interactive story. What I like about working in, working in the game industry is the fact that like every project that I work on, it's something new. You know, it's like even if you're working on a sequel to the game you've already made, you're going to run into new challenges and new problems. And uh, you know, gaming is such a young industry; it's so brand new. It's like every, you, we're still inventing things. You know, it, it's uh, we're still you know making things up from scratch. And th there's nothing you know more fun for a creative person to get involved with. Not that I'm 
claiming to be a creative person, but you know, there you go. Uh, I like PAX because ideally it's all inclusive. You get a little bit of something for everybody, tabletop role-playing games, video games. Uh, you want something super competitive, we have that. You want something super chill and relaxed, you can have that. Whatever it is you want, we'll find something that will appeal to you. I work at a board game store locally in Seattle, so it's kind of nice to be not working and be able to actually be here at PAX, play the games, all the video games and everything. It's just fun to see the collection of people that come to all do the same thing that 70,000 other people are doing. A lot of what I like about PAX is the opportunity just to see stuff that I don't normally see. Like, the internet's huge, you know, so I, I saw an indie game that I'd never heard of this year, and it seems like every year when I come here, I find an indie game that I never heard of that I absolutely fall in love with. So, that for me is the best part. Like, I know the big studios that are gonna be here, and it's nice to see them, and it's nice to see how far they've come along, it's nice to get free stuff, but it's the little stuff that I've never heard of that, that I get to run into, and then I get to try it with my friends. It's just getting able to, being able to see the stuff more hands-on. You know, I can sit at home and search the internet and find all kinds of independent stuff, but if they've come to PAX, they're obviously serious enough and far enough along that it's going to be a real thing. You know, it's not going to be a pipe dream. So, like, that's my favorite section to go to in PAX and then to try all that out. And then just getting to hang out with my friends. I love PAX because everyone you meet loves games and everyone wants to talk about how they like your game or another game that you like. And it's all about the enthusiasm that helps you, I think, kind of recharge your batteries for the next year of making games. Yeah. And sometimes it gets hard and you want to know why you're making them, but you're making them for these people who love them. I go up to PAX because it's a great chance to meet developers. Vax is probably the uh, the gumption and the moxie of the attendees. People here love love games with all their hearts, and it's a, it's fun to see them get a chance to uh, walk around and talk to people much like with similar interests and things like that. So to see the uh, the kind of communications and joys that goes on just brings a brings a smile to the, this traveling salesman's uh, this, his heart. Um, to be honest, PAX has kind of taken on more of a social role for us. I love the video games, don't get me wrong, and I love going there to see the new games. But uh, definitely my favorite thing every year right now, and I think for a lot of my friends that go there, is uh, the social aspect. We meet, you know, like thousands of new people. Um, we hang out with hundreds of new people. And uh, we just generally have a great time partying with and hanging out with, uh, with, you know, fellow nerds. What I like about PAX is that I get to see people that I normally don't get to see. It's a, kind of a little reunion for me and all of my friends across the nation. Um, and I get to see a lot of cool new games. I like that it brings everybody together and video games or board games somehow we're communicating, yeah, being part of the community and encouraging everybody to be the best they can be within the community. It combines those things and brings it to someplace real and you're able to hang out with all those people you've maybe shared those gaming experiences with. Um, it's also overall in my opinion a very positive place to be and lets people just be themselves which is a really great thing. There's no way to describe this to somebody. It's more of the uh, not let me tell you, let me show you. The great thing about a convention is you can literally walk up to anybody you see, go hey I like your shirt and then two hours later you've been talking to this guy for two hours because there's just so much you have to talk about, there's so much you have in common, which for them to be able to do that, it's kind of, it's it's nice to be able to be understanded about that, especially to go to a place where everybody understands you. You're not so different anymore, and you're not as strange, and it's, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling to be able to be a part of that. Hello there. <laughs> I'm Jeff. Uh, Hello there. My name is Professor Bertram Bitt. My name is Ryan. And my name is Manu. 
Uh, my name is Andrew Verhoff. Uh, I'm Tim Schaefer with Double Plant Productions. I'm Chris. Hi, my name is Sunny. <laughs> I'm Tyler. I'm an enforcer at PAX. Uh, Patrick O'Neill. Jeffrey Card. I'm a designer at Undead Lab. Tyler Gifford. My name is Chris. Uh, my name is Nathan. My name is Alyssa. Amanda. My name is Carrie. My name is Jeremy Hannaford, and I love PAX, and thank you again to everyone who contributed to this film. This is all for you guys. Can't wait to see you all next year.